Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's Spur video day. 10 will take us to the 19th of December. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SNGFS and ESEM ensembles. Very radical wings. Have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And I shall get on with that for you very shortly. Just say that the first video they say was our 7 a.m. upload. We've also released the European Outlook. I've got a Christmas update coming up for you tonight. So please like, share, subscribe. All of the videos. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Uh, right, you can start off with the Arctic Oscillation Observed and Forecast. Just to bring you up to date uh, with that. So uh, the AO and NAO, of course, just indexes reflecting the atmospheric state. They do not drive anything in their own terms, they just tell us what the atmosphere is doing. So when the AO is positive, got low pressure up over the Arctic and over the uh, North Pole. When the AO is negative, we've got high pressure blocking over the Arctic and over, over the Pole. At this time of year, blocking is a route to getting cold air out of the Pole and down into the mid-latitudes. Of course, it's not quite as straightforward as that. Uh, because uh, where the blocking six will determine who gets the uh, who gets the cold and who is on the mild side uh, of the block. But um, it is one of the things that we look at, you know, uh, particularly through the winter. So at the moment, the AO is in a very positive uh, state. We're up here, which is a really, really positive Arctic uh, uh actually. And the GFS ensemble is certainly up to mid-December forecasting that the, uh, that the AO is likely to stay uh, positive. Now, the more accelerated, we have quite a bit of scatter, but it looks like we see a bit of a trend here appearing uh, for the AO to start to trend a little bit more negative as we run up towards the Christmas period. That might be an indication of uh, some uh, blocking uh, beginning to get going towards Christmas. And possibly, again, depends where the blocking is sitting, um, possibly pushing some cold air down into mid latitudes from the North Pole and from uh, the Arctic, maybe. The NAO observed and forecast is very similar. Again, black light shows where it's been. With the NAO, the red lights at the end, the GFS on the forecasting NAO to go. It's measuring air pressures between Iceland and the Azores. So you've got a positive NAO, you've got low pressure on Iceland, you've got high pressure through the Azores, and you strengthen the zone of westerly flow. You've got a negative NAO, you've got uh, lower pressure or sometimes high pressure around Iceland and uh, lower pressure and sometimes low pressure uh, actually uh, through the uh, Azores and that draws in like an easterly type flow. At the moment the NEO is uh, ground neutral to weekly positive. Uh, GFS ensembles are forecasting that the uh, NEO will stay uh, positive as we go into middle part of December and then possibly trending negative though as we run up towards um, Christmas. So both of the uh, indexes, the AO and the NEO, are on the move there as we run up towards Christmas. That could be an indication of colder weather to come, certainly for Northern Europe as we run towards Christmas, maybe for the UK and for Ireland because we have to wait and see exactly how it all uh, sort of shapes up and, and, you know, how it all works out. But definitely it looks like, it looks like both of the indexes are on the move here. Uh, you know, the AO and the NEO both look like they're on the move towards Christmas and towards a negative trend. So we'll keep an eye on that. Of course we will. Centering temperature is uh, looking like this. We're currently standing at 5.0, which is bang on the uh, long-term average, added provisional to yesterday to the 8th of uh, December. So about average for the first week of month. That's going to lift up, though, over the coming days because we are in uh, for quite a mild spell. Things of the GFS, upper air temperature, and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're on Aberdeen today. So the red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Aberdeen. We're still a little bit below average at the moment. I'm going to say so for the next couple of days. But over weekend into next week, the trend is very much upwards in terms of those upper air temperatures. Becoming very mild with the upper air temperatures anyway as we get in towards the uh, latter stages of next week. But there is a cooling trend that we see here as we look out towards the Christmas period. We do see that the uh, upper air temperatures are lowering. There are some quite cold uh, members of the GFS ensembles now starting to cluster there around the Christmas period. That again might be an indication of cold weather to come as we look towards Christmas. For that will be relatively mild though, albeit will be under high pressure, there could be frost and fog. In terms of precipitation, I've uh, got uh, some more wet weather to come, showery burst of rain over the next few days, but there is a drying trend uh, next week with these, these mild upper air temperatures will start to get uh, it will start to get um, drier as well, so, so drier and milder next week. But again, bear in mind this is under high pressure, so it could be frost and fog. That would be more particularly so 
for southern areas. Actually, this is how the uh, sea level pressure is looking in terms of the GFS ensemble, starting with low pressure at the moment, pressure rising to around 1,040 millibars, very high pressure by the end of next week. And again, maybe a trend um, towards Christmas for, for pressure to begin to uh, lower a little bit in terms of uh, temperatures, again, we're starting off quite cold at the moment. They go milder next week, but it looks like we've got a cooling trend appearing as we head out towards the Christmas period. Temperature anomalies from the night to 17th December are going to be uh, milder than average. Precipitation anomalies from the night to 17th December are going to be drier than average too. This is Winfrey Matt from urbanoldschool.net shows that for the moment we're still bringing in uh, westy, northwest winds off the Atlantic, so still quite cool and uh, also still rather unsettled. And that carries on into weekend, but by weekend we will start to drag up some milder air from the southwest. This is how the UK Met Euro is looking for midnight on Sunday, bringing up a milder push of winds from the Atlantic. Quite a deep low there, midnight through to Monday. That brings heavy rain and on the southern flank, maybe some gale force winds to northern parts of England, but all the time we're pushing in those mild uh, temperatures from the uh, middle of the Atlantic. Staying unsettled, quite wet, windy through to the middle part of next week as well, but at least it will be mild, particularly so down in the south. And uh, so as we go to, it's a midnight on Thursday, <coughs> excuse me, midnight on Thursday next week, where it's starting to raise the heights from the south uh, a little bit, beginning to go a little bit drier, uh, but still mild as we get into the middle of next week. It's our GFS. Midnight run is looking again. We're into proper southwesterly winds on Sunday, and those southwest winds continue into the early part of next week as well. Mainly dry though for the south, always more unsettled for the north. I think the GFS is less unsettled compared to the UK mayor. And then through Thursday and Friday, this high pressure sort of inflates and pushes northwards uh, from France, so that turns most of us dry. His second half next week, it is a mild ridge, but of course, again, if the skies are clear, which you won't know until a little bit closer to the time, but if the skies were clear, then we would uh, start to turn things quite cold by night anyway, as, as we have long nights at this time of year, and the heat would radiate into space. Conversely, if we fill this up with anticyclonic gloom, then it will be relatively uh, mild. Looking out towards uh, day 10, which is Sunday the 19th December, high pressure amazing in the just inching a little bit further to our west, starting to allow something a bit cold to come into the far north of Scotland. And then in, in the more extended range, uh, look what happens with this area of high pressure. We take it north and start to set up a northerly. That's Christmas Eve, northerly winds setting in. Um, this is Christmas Day. We get to Christmas Day today um, with the GFS and uh, 384 hours away. So it's a very long way out. But we actually start to pull in a northerly blast there uh, for midnight on Monday. Uh, midnight on um, Saturday, the 25th of December. You know, midnight Christmas Day. Pulling in a cold northerly and, uh, you know, that's proper that's proper cold air setting in there on that northerly blast. My 10 cells of ice sperm is starting to move towards the northern part of uh, Scotland. So a northerly blast on the midnight uh, GFS run via the high pressure sort of becoming retrograde and going up towards Greenland. This hour's GFS 6 that is looking, again, we're drawing in very mild air. Uh, on Sunday, and then as we go through to the OPAP next week, St. Germany mild, rather unsettled in the north, always a bit drier in the south. The trend through next week is to lift up this ridge from the south, telling us mostly dry and under that area of high pressure. It's a very mild ridge, but there might be frost and fog, particularly for more southern parts of the country. Then the high pressure by day 10 begins to inch its way to our west. Look, it's trying to reach towards Greenland uh, once again does actually push north. We start to bring in some colder air into that area of high pressure, but it doesn't get to Greenland, such as the midnight GFS run. Uh, we're showing so the northerly blast this time to go through Scandinavia, northern and eastern parts uh, of Europe. We just remain under that area of high pressure right the way to uh, Christmas Day. Would be cold, would be plenty of frost and a seasonal feel uh, with that, but the coldest of the air is actually to our north and northeast. Right, we move on to the GEM. If you enjoy the video, please smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for doing that. And drop a comment. Let's say what you got this and all of our videos. You need to put on around 85 subscribers now to get to 12.9k. Uh, please give us a sub. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. This is how the GEM is looking. Again, pretty mild with southwesterly winds on Sunday into the early part of next week. Again, joining up those southwest winds. So it will be mild for much of next week. Mainly dry in the south. will be more 
unsettled up in the north. And then the trend through the week will be to push high pressure northwards. High pressure takes over in lots of dry weather. It is a mild ridge. And for the northwest in particular, there will be some quite mild weather with this. Underneath the centre of the high pressure to the east of it, that's where we could get some frost and fog. But we'll know a little bit closer to the time, I think, about that. And by day 10, which is the 19th of December, again, high pressure is well and truly in control. Could be cold and frosty for England and Wales, but Scotland, quite mild with winds coming in from a westerly direction. ECMWF rounds it all off with those southwesterly winds on Sunday. And then through next week, quite unsettled in the northwest, where it's a little bit drier in the south, close to the area of high pressure. And then the high pressure pushes northwards as we go up towards day 10. High pressure taking over, bringing lots of dry, uh, quite mild weather. There might be frost and foggy, the sky is clear. That's how looking to get to day 10, which brings in uh, a little bit of a northerly to the far northeast Scott, but we're really on the periphery of that. Most of the cold air is going into Scandinavia, but it does look as though that high pressure is trying to ridge a little bit further north. So, as I've been saying in the videos over the past few days, where that high pressure goes is going to be the important factor for, for Christmas. What kind of Christmas we have in terms of weather will be determined by what this high pressure does and where it goes. Precipitation uh, forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com looks like this. Plenty of rain coming and going over the next few days, but gradually trending drier across more southern areas. Always wettest out in the north and in the west. And as you get towards day 10, most areas are looking reasonably dry by that point. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10 by the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 19th of December, 17 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure over the country slightly to our east. We're basically still mild uh, with that. 15 will take the high pressure a bit further northwards, though, towards Scandinavia and pull in a little bit more of an easy wind, so that could be getting a bit colder. 12, <coughs> excuse me, once again. 12 have high pressure right over the top of the country, and 7 have high pressure... To our east, low pressure to the west, and winds will be drawing up from quite a mildly southerly direction. But with a continental influence, there could be frost and fog. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets to 24th of December, Christmas Eve. 25 members of the East Shell Ensembles on Christmas Eve. Look at this. I'm a Scandinavian high, and I'm bringing in the wind from the east. So that would be cold, and maybe even bring a few snow flurries onto the east coast. Who knows? 17 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure like between Iceland and Scotland and around that we will be bringing in a bit of an easterly flow as well that will be quite cold too and then nine have this rather bizarre looking chart where we have low pressure over Scandinavia high pressure pulled out here um, and it's difficult to say what's going on uh, there but most of the options look quite cold I have to say for the ECM ensembles as we get you know to Christmas um, so could we be in for a cold Christmas here even if it's not particularly snowy because high pressure dominates uh, you know could we have quite a cold frosty season on Christmas this year we shall see uh, right, final, final uh, thing to look at is CFSC2. It's a 500 millibar height spread down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 9th to 15th of December. The coming week is quite unsettled with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the west, and winds are coming in from, uh, the, from, from the westerly direction. So unsettled and relatively mild in the week here. Week 2 will be the 16th, 22nd of December with high pressure dominating, sitting over the to the east of the country. Will be mainly dry. The model will say that's mild. There could actually be frost and fog, though. Uh, now, week three looks quite interesting. This is for 23rd to 29th of December, Christmas week, with high pressure like from uh, Scandinavia going over towards Newfoundland. Uh, and that presumably is bringing in an easterly wind. Low pressure is down here as well. So that could be quite cold, I would have thought. And, uh, you know, might even bring some snow showers onto eastern and southeastern coast. And then week four also looking quite interesting today. This is the 30th of December to the 5th of January. High pressure is sort of centred over Iceland. And again, around that, we will be bringing in winds from like an east or a northeasterly direction. Maybe indications from the CFS that things get cold uh, for Christmas and for the new year. 
The plot is thickening, everyone. Right, if you enjoyed the video, please can you smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. And drop a comment. Let us know if you have missed out all of our videos. Don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe as well. It's amazing. It's incredible. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. You will. We will be giving away uh, an Amazon voucher. There it is. Worth £30. When we hit 13,000 subscribers, we'll do a giveaway. So, um, you know, £30 for 13k. Uh, when we here um 13 000 subscribers so uh, we're quite close to it i think it'll probably happen in the new year but we shall see how quickly things develop uh right one more video so that's your time to 14 there quite interesting towards christmas and new year and talking to christmas one more video still to go today which will be the uh 17th i think it is uh christmas update so that's coming up for you uh tonight of course tomorrow we're gonna have jeremy friday 10 to 14 day uh 7 a.m upload i might do a live show i'm not feeling 100 percent i have to say at the moment so whether i'm quite up to doing a friday night live stream uh, what's wrong with my eye? Um, I don't know. I'll let everybody know tomorrow. But I might. I know we have two Fridays off, but I might have to have tomorrow off as well because I am not, you know, one hundred percent at the minute. I think I'm going to the end of the winter updates and whatnot. I've got a bit run down, so uh, I'm not a hundred percent. And I shall see. Therefore, you know how I feel tomorrow whether we have a Friday night live stream or not. But there will be the uploads anyway uh, to come tomorrow. Uh, right then, so uh, that's it anyway for uh, today's uh, Ted's Walking Dad. We'll be back shortly, well, back tonight, I should say, uh, with the latest Christmas update. But uh, for uh, this video, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.